Hello and welcome to uh, Let's Try. We're trying Empty Shell Prologue. Now, uh, first and foremost, if you have any photosensitivity issues, uh, you're definitely not going to want to watch this. There was a warning at the beginning of the game, but I couldn't catch it in time. So um, your your warning is here. Um, I, I would I wouldn't recommend watching this. Um, this uh, looked interesting to me. It kind of reminds me of a couple of games I've played. Um, it is a, I believe, a roguelite. Um, let's let's jump into it. They make us get on those wooden boats. Weapons pointed at our backs. A backpack with a weapon and some ammunition. For the lucky ones, an automatic rifle. But fewer and fewer are, of them are seen. They said they say that we will find supplies on the spot, even if no one has ever been able to confirm it. I never understood why they send us there one at a time. We might have a chance with more people together. I've seen dozens leave in the last few days. Men, women, young and old. Uh, no one ever returned. A new boat leaves the ship every 12 to 24 hours. I see them disappear in the fog. In the rain that never seems to stop falling. Um, they say that the facility is not far from here. No one, no more than four nautical miles. A little more than three hours before reaching the beach. If the waves don't overturn the boat and then engulf you in the darkness of the ocean. Next turn is mine. So this is a fairly dark game as I understand it. Task list. Reboot the main generator. Reboot the something, the second, and the third. Um, yeah, this game's got a look to it for sure. It kind of reminds me of a couple of games. Um, it, uh, I, I think the... F Ooh. Okay, we're really getting into it, aren't we? Ooh. Are those... Uh, who can say what the heck those are? I, I did get, take a little bit of damage there. Space, dodge, G, use gadget if equipped. Q, use device if equipped. Um, do we have either of those? I don't think we do. Uh, G, use gadget, Q, use device. I don't think we, I don't think we have any of those open. Small caliber bullets. Okay, let's pick up all that. Um, one of the first let's try is, I think the first try I ever did, um, was a game called... Oh uh, god, it's it's been so long. Space salvage. It was space something. Um, salvage. No, that's not it. Wreckage. Space something. Um, do 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 do. I, I hate not remembering the names of games all of the time. I play so many games. It's just, it's just absurd how many games I have played and I can't remember the names of any of them anyway. Um, it was kind of a successor to the other, uh, another game that this, of the same dev, developer. Um, and it kind of reminds me of this. Um, it top-down, roguelite, and it had a similar interface in a lot of ways, but obviously this is, this is doing a couple of different things. This one's a bit more, seems a bit more, uh, rooted in reality. The other games are a bit more abstract, but sorry, I'm, I'm being very uninformative here. Uh, from Nakata. Uh, De uh, Dezuke. I am assuming that's Dezuke. Even today, the energy absorbed by Building B was close to 25% of the generators. I don't think there is any need to remind you which is the main purpose of the facility and how important it is to maintain constant power flows to Building C. Please ask your team to find a solution and lighten the energy draw needed to perform your duties. Um, that's it. Okay. So... Do I have to- Oh god! Wow, they, they really come come at you hard and fast in this game, don't they? Oh my god! Oh, I, I, I kind of hate that. Okay, that's a... Uh, some kind of turret. I don't know how to um, use my gun, is the thing. Oh, I see. I have to hold the button down. So those are definitely some kind of zombie. I'm getting some kind of currency for killing these things. Whatever they are. Med kit. Crew locker. Okay. Oh god. They, they, uh... They, 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 these guys, uh, these enemies have like no chill. They just like walk through a door and start hitting you. Interesting, we've zoomed out a little bit here. I'm not really sure. I guess I'm okay. So I'm using a uh, laser rifle, turret with automatic rifle. 
Does that mean is that a gadget? Can I use that gadget? I'm not sure. Um, how would one even equip anything? Reboot the laboratory's generator. Reboot the IT systems generator. Okay. Um, I'd like to. I like a bit of information here. Okay, so energy cells, med kit, turret with automatic rifle. How do we? Can we equip this? Return equip. There we go. Is this on us, or do we now have to deploy it? We have to deploy it. Okay, I, I wish that doing that had not cost me the turret. That is unfortunate. We have a spade. We have a we have a dodge roll. Something I hadn't even uh, talked about. Okay. We're in a tight spot again. Um, can we open up any of these? Yeah, I, I really regret losing my turret, honestly. I hear something. Okay. They're, the sound effects are, are really interesting. Upgrade station. Oh. So we can spend our money to upgrade our health um, protection. Increases the maximum value protection by approximately 20%. Um, we can, I guess we can buy a med kit, a med kit, um, turret with automatic rifle, old fireman's axe. I wouldn't mind having a better melee, actually. Medium caliber bullets. Let's improve our protection. Very, uh, strangely, like, normal way to upgrade. And then we have another upgrade station. It's the same thing, though. Definitely ammo management is going to be a thing in this game. This is to submit a request for a hardware upgrade of the analysis and simulation and internal communication systems. The amount of data has increased exponentially compared to what we are, what we were used to managing initially. The hardware in our position is still functional, but the processing speed has decreased significantly. Below is a list of components necessary to normalize, normalize workflows and recover requirements for at least 24 months. We need 16 RAM sticks and 16 processors. 16 hard drives. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to get the, the hang of things here. And in fact, melee is working out for me pretty well. I'm not taking as much damage. We can, we can smack and then use a dodge roll. Uh, Semi-automatic rifle. Well, that's not bad. Eventually, we are going to run out of uh, ammo. Okay. We don't seem to... I, I, I didn't get anything from those guys. Is this one of the generators I have to fix? Reboot the main generator. Okay, so a, an objective has been completed. This is good. This is just a prologue. I should have uh, I should have been more clear on it. This is basically just a demo. Protective plates. Inventory full. Well, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, the energy cells are going to be good. Um, let's uh, let's see if we can equip those plates. Mm, oh yeah, here we go. I clicked on them. I don't know what that meant. Oh, we have armor now. Okay, that's nice. Lots of dead bodies around. Uh, yeah. You know you're going to turn a corner and there's just going to be a bad guy like right there. Lots of corners in this facility. Oh god! Oh god, they have they have guns. Okay, that that went okay once I realized that they were there. Uh is this another generator? This looks like a generator. 
Where is... Oh, there it is. Reboot the laboratory's generator. That is something horrible. Oh my god, it's a giant hand. Um, I need to switch weapons. Uh, we need to switch to semi-automatic rifle. Oh god, I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna die here. Ah! Ah! Okay. Dead. That was dangerous. Dad, you were right. I just got an achievement. <laughs> Dad, you were right. Right about what? I'm not sure. But good lord, was that... That, that was terrifying, all of that. But I must be getting close to something. Why is there a giant hand? That's, that's just weird. Oh god, okay. As long as I don't have a gun, I should be okay. In fact, they're very slow, slow moving dude. These guys um, take two bullets to kill. The other guy, the, the hand and the giant spider thing, like 20. I wonder if maybe avoiding combat, this might be one of those games where avoiding combat might be a good idea. Oh, you can stand on top of things. Interesting. What do you mean inventory full? I, I, that's not going to cut it, actually. Can we not combine? Oh, we have a shotgun. Um, let's use a med kit. Um, yeah. And then I want to pick up the energy. I do want to... I guess I should have picked up the health kit, because then I could have used the health kit. I want to drop something. Let's drop this, this, uh, the um, small caliber bullets. And then pick up a health kit. Use the health kit. And then pick up the other health kit. Perfect. Alright, so we got, a, we got a small boon. Pretty good boon, actually, for, for having killed all that stuff. Oh, this is the outdoors, huh? It's raining. I can't leave yet. I have to complete all my tasks. Okay, we're not done yet. I guess this was like the boss and I kind of shortcut things a little bit. Oh, here's the last generator. Maybe? No, this is the one I already turned on. It's already on. I must have missed something somewhere. All right, we're going to go back. I feel like um, maybe, uh, I don't know. I, I know it was probably a bot. What is happening? Facility is like shaking. Um, that la that those, those guys were probably bosses. So like, I can't be surprised that they had a lot of health, but they did feel very tanky. We got an upgrade station. Turret. Um, more health. Increase our health. Why not? So now we have 121 max health. It didn't really fill us up, which I guess I get it, but... And we have codes. We need to find the code, maybe. A Muzi SMG. Um, I guess I wouldn't mind that. Let, let's drop the shotgun. Try the Muzi at some point. So it's not letting me go over here. Is this the generator? That that would be bad if it was the generator. Um, okay, so I'm not really sure where I'm meant to be going right now. Oh, you can sprint in this game. Interesting. Uh, 12 gauge shells You can actually I, I could have been I could have been running this whole time. There's our first generator. I must have missed something Like way back here you uh, you do have an endurance meter however, so like running uh, dodge rolling 
all wares on your on your meter. I may have not explored this area. At oh God! Yeah. Okay. At least we know we're on the right track here. What do you mean empty? Um. Let's try the moozy. Okay, uh, we took quite a lot of damage there. More lead. I, I got another achievement. I think it's, um, prologues are such a weird concept that we've just kind of, like, accepted. I don't fully understand them still. Like, they're basically demos, but they're, like, treated as full games. This is a Tezuka Marukami security night shift of November 15th, 1954. Note a blockage of generator number two. Manual restart required. I'm heading to the room. Iwata, I know the next night shift is yours. In case you don't know, the room code is 8212. 8212. 8212. Let's hope I remember that. Interesting little bit of atmosphere there. I do, I do like the um, presentation of this. I, I do like it. They've gone for a, you know, very uh, interesting style here. Almost like a CRT v style um kind of game it's not the first time i've seen it but i do like it when i see it it's 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 an i you know it's something i i don't know like you know maybe there are other ways of um doing this it always feels a little bit arbitrary to me if the camera is like perfectly following you but uh you know like since we are going for some kind of vibe um in terms of the the you know the, the camera style but uh, then you end up in maybe a Resident Evil 1 situation where you're, like, coming in, you know, you, 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 you like, have to fight the camera sometimes. Uh, is there anything we can buy? No, not really. Okay. 8212. Is that here? Yeah. Oh, it tells me the code right there. Nice. Appreciate that they do that. There's the last generator. Reboot the IT systems generator. This is not the way. This is not my world. It wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me if um, even though I kind of killed the big bads uh, that they might throw another curveball at me. Having having uh, rebooted all of the generators now. Oh god, yeah. Indeed there is a there's a couple enemies here. When there was not before. I'm pretty sure I'm done here now. Should be good to leave. I'm assuming that's like the end of our prologue demo. This place is hell. What are these abominations? The facility has been abandoned for decades. Where do they come from? Have they always been here? Wh what do they feed on? No one ever told us what we would encounter down here. The contract only mentioned a vague execution of a list of tasks provided at the beginning of the job. Uh, I wonder how many would have given up, knowing what horrors they, would, uh, they were waiting for us. But basically, they chose us on purpose. Poor, desperate, empty shells. What would be the alternative? Dying of hunger and starvation in a corner of some dark alley. And yet, wouldn't it be better, rather than being devoured by this nightmare, far from any kind of civilization? I have to concentrate. The three electric generators have been rebooted. The list now reports some antennas to be realigned in building B of the East Wing. Oh, there might be more here. Align the saddle. Okay, we've got we've got more still. Oh, I see. That's where I came from. Okay, we got a baddie. Oh god, he's yeah. I was like, that thing's gonna explode, isn't it? Anything that counts down is immediately a bomb. A photograph of a smiling young couple and a newborn baby. It seems like during a picnic. Seems taken during a picnic. The the three are sitting in a, on a cloth spread out on a meadow. meadow. The Im image is overexposed, but the profile of some mountains can be seen in the background. A date is written in the back in black ink, 1952. 
Oh, you want to open this? Large caliber bullets. Sure, we'll pick those up. We're probably going to need them. So you can blow those things up prematurely. You can do like controlled bursts. I actually appreciate the gunplay in this game. It's it's done quite well. We got a hunting rifle. Okay, we have run out of bullets on our Muzi. Thing thing eats up quite a lot of ammo at once. Uh, let's switch back to our laser rifle. Um, what does this take? Uh, small caliber bullets. So we dropped the small caliber bullets. I assumed because they would be used for a pistol, but uh, that's that's dumb thinking, isn't it? And of course, I did not equip the laser rifle. I don't know if I, I took damage from that. I hope not. So what is this? Oh, that's the automatic rifle. I shouldn't waste my ammo like that. We can get away with a lot of uh, melee fighting in this game. As long as it's not going to explode in my face. Would have thought there would have been like some kind of secret back there. I would have put a secret back there. Or at least like a little cache of supplies or something. Use console. Aligned. Misalignment detected. Please ensure the antennas are aligned. So it looks like antenna B is misaligned and we need some of C to be aligned as well. So up three, down two, down one. So up, up, down, down, three, two, one. Up, down, down, three, two, one. I'm assuming we're going to have to do those manually, right? So we've got a similar kind of uh, mission here. We, we uh, have to, you know, accomplish three goals, find three things. And yeah, you can blow those guys up to do a bit of damage to the... Uh, enemies surrounding them anything good over here protection plates yay laser rifle light i've got one already okay uh let's use that protection probably i should save it for like when i'm about to oh god You know, fight a boss like this guy. Um, okay, things are getting kind of dicey. I think we can actually take this guy on. Oh, that was good. We just need to not let him hit us with that. Oh God. Oh God, I'm stuck. I don't think I was stuck actually. I think I ran out of endurance. Oh God. Okay. Yes. Infighting. Well, not infighting. Okay, you need to manage your endurance in this game. Did that thing charge me? Oh god, okay, we died. I, I play I, I flew a little bit too close to the sun there. So are we a new guy or do you think we are uh, the same guy? Well, that's interesting. It seems like the camera angle has changed. Is this a new like uh, do we have a procedural generation of the same kind of facility? Oh god damn. Definitely, I could have handled things uh, better. Okay. We took we took a little bit of damage there, not too much. So what kind of stuff do I have? Now I, I've lost, like, all of my stuff. So we have a, a semi-automatic rifle now with ammo. 
I have to assume I'm I'm just like a new person now. Like that other guy, he died, but you know, you're next. And also I'm back to 100 health. Interesting way of doing things. Uh how do I feel about that? Oh god. Oh. I kind of like it. I mean, you know, um, it's nice to have continuity for your character, but like, you know, I, 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 I you know, I appreciate when um, someone's willing to try something new with the whole roguelike model. It's, it's often, um, this is novel. Can I hide behind this? I don't think I can. I already have that. Um, you know, I, I've, I've played a lot of roguelites, roguelikes, and it's just like, it definitely feels like the same thing over and over again. And it feels like punishing gameplay is like part of the experience. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see someone try and do anything different, even if it's like, let's do like an, a, a horror game. Um, but like there is sort of permadeath, but for that character, like you lose kind of continuity of your supplies but you, you still get to continue and you you know you still have a way of you know continuing the story and seeing the next part of the game i think it's that's actually pretty pretty cool um it's an interesting way of doing things i don't know if that's how it's going to work when, you know in the actual game it might be that they're being kind for the sake of the prologue like we don't we don't want someone to have to restart our demo uh that would be uh, you know kind of ridiculous so we're just gonna treat it like a normal game ironically i think that that would it would work quite well okay so these these satellites are very different in their misalignment now um oh up down oh okay we can actually move these i i, I was mistaken okay so you, you definitely want to change cer certain things first There we go. Um, we're good. Objective complete. Align the antenna array. So now we just have to leave alive, I'm assuming. Med kit. Protection plates. Let's use those. Yeah, I mean, it's a... Oh, God! What? That was... That was actually scary. I won't lie. What was that? Recover Yuma Yoshida credits. Oh, okay. Interesting. Can I go in here? I guess not. I keep going in there expecting to see literally anything and, and no. So now how do we how do we escape this place? We gotta find the uh the exit. Uh my my gun is almost out of ammo. Um don't really have anything else. I guess we have the Muzi. The Muzi's pretty good. But it's it's short-lived. Like you you know you don't get you don't get very much time with the Muzi. Wondering is there anything over here that I missed? I don't think so. I don't I don't know where I'm going. Probably shouldn't like sprint like that unless I need to. Otherwise, uh, you know, when I actually need my endurance, it's it's not going to be available to me. If I come across the shotgun, that'll be good. Oh god!
Okay, uh, I actually do like the combat in this game. It's it, it flows well. And I don't feel like, you know, I, I know a lot of games like to um, put like these kind of hard restrictions on the, the character's movement so that, you know, they don't get too good at the combat. I almost feel like it's like you, you don't want the player to be too good, get too good with the combat because then the game becomes easy and then you lose your edge. It's a tempting thing. I understand that. But at a certain point, I think that like eventually your game can like feel very clunky um, if you restrict you know mobility too much. There's, you got to find like a, a, a sort of compromise, a middle ground where it's like, yeah, um, the game's got an edge and um, mobility is is limited in some regard. But like, you don't you don't feel like a tank. And I think this game, I mean, this game just like gives you the mobility and I appreciate that. Noboru, thank you for reaching out. I don't think it's necessary to remind you what the purpose of building B is, but just in case you forgot, here's a reminder. All culture of plants free from anomalies, typical of the environment in which we live, work, sleep every day, and should you have forgotten this too, we feed ourselves. Our plants are very important for our nutrition, including yours, including unless you want to feed yourself with snacks from the upgrade stations. We will still try to do everything possible. Have a nice day. Speaking of an upgrade station, we have a lot of money. I would love to, to spend some of it. I'm trying to conserve some of our ammo if I can. Of course, I could be backing up into a, like another swarm. Something really tempting for a game like this would be like whenever you use your melee weapon, um, you uh, you spend some of your endurance. Really hope they don't do anything like that. Um, that would be kind of frustrating because uh, you know you're using the you using I'm using the melee primarily because um, you know it, it saves ammo because you want to use the ammo when you really need to. And if you think you can get through a situation. Um, by using melee, then, you know, that's good. You know, that's a, it's, it means that the player has some kind of agency in this, you know, in, in, in how they choose to approach a situation. And that, that is a good thing. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and drop the semi-automatic rifle and the ammo for said gun. Um, if you, you know, then like make the endurance too hampering and like, oh yeah, um, using the melee means spending endurance and you only have so much endurance and now it's all gone and now you're in a situation that you can't really win um, Then it's like well, you've kind of taken the choice out of my hands. I, I can no longer really uh, Use melee as liberally as I would have liked I'm really kind of like finding things that could be a problem and, and not I wouldn't say complaining about them but like, you know, if if this was a thing that was in this game then you know it wouldn't be good or it wouldn't be as good but um you know those 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 problems don't really exist right now so i don't know i i guess i'm commenting more on like here's the here are the kind of things that i have encountered with this kind of game and this game is not uh, exhibiting those those problems and i'm i'm actually appreciating that let's drop the pipe and we're gonna pick up a fragmentation grenade I actually, before we do that, I wouldn't mind having some more ammo. We have the Muzi. The Muzi uses what? Medium caliber bullets. So medium caliber would be all right. Um, we have large caliber. I don't know if we have anything that uses that. Wouldn't mind having a shotgun. Can we buy a shotgun from this thing? doesn't look like it. So we'll go ahead and buy a medium caliber. Some medium caliber bullets. I will say, I do think, if I'm going to nitpick, because right now I haven't really seen or like anything that I strongly dislike in this game. I, I like this game quite a bit. Um, if I was going to disagree with anything, it would be, I think that the um, shop music and sound effects uh, are a little bit, they, they just kind of cheapen the uh, the tone a bit. I get it. I understand, uh, you know, it's it's funny. Um, but I, I just think that it doesn't really add much to the experience and it, and it just kind of kills the vibe a little bit. So I'm not sure still where I'm going. Anything in there? No. Also, do we have a map? 
um, legitimately would like a map. Because I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. And I feel like I'm doubling back quite a lot. Uh, oh, there's something over here that I miss. So that's nice. Large caliber bullets med kit. Fragmentation grenade. Um, I should equip those fragmentation grenades. I thought I bought a fragmentation grenade. Where is it? I guess maybe it's already equipped. Well, let's uh, drop something then, I guess. Um, let's drop the energy cells. I mean, it doesn't matter what I drop. There's a good chance that it'll become useful later. Oh, okay. We're on the right track here because uh, I hadn't killed that guy. Although I feel like they have spawned enemies on me. Ah, here we go. What do you mean I'm not going? This is where I came from? Wow. <laughs> okay, here we don't go. Here we stay. All right. Well, I don't think I went this way. Oh, I did go this way. I don't know where I'm going. Can I kill this thing? I'm kind of sick of uh, running around it. If I'd gotten killed right there, that would have been some truly ironic stuff right there. Oh, I won't be running around it anymore now that I'm dead. Uh, did I go this way? Okay, well, this is promising. What is this? This is Mishima, uh, recovery expedition leader of the facility. We dis disembarked this morning after an 11 day journey. The destination is in the middle of the Northern Pacific, even at the command center. No one had any idea of the existence of this place. Mission details are scarce. We've been tasked to investigate the resource or the reasons for the loss of communication with the facility, which occurred approximately four weeks ago and recover personnel still on the island. The place is surrounded, uh, shrouded in darkness and in silence. Uh, a particularly sweet smell permeates the air. All the details on the floor plans are confidential, so we don't really have any idea of the size of, of the facility. At a first glance at the outer walls, I'd say that our expedition of 25 people is undersized. We're setting up uh, some lamps for... A man can be heard calling loudly in the distance. When, then the recording suddenly stops. Ah. Um, I imagine we're going to be fighting something rather large pretty soon. I mean, I did fight a swarm, but is that the equivalent of some of the bosses and stuff we've seen? Oh, maybe this is it. Oh, there's a, there's a baddie. Ah, there we go. What is that? Oh my god, it's a graboid. That's how they get you. They're under the goddamn ground. Except that thing is like, just like, straight up on the surface. Okay, we got, we got stuff going on. Ooh, that, this guy is quite tanky. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, I definitely need to equip a gun. Uh, do I have any gun? I have fragmentation grenades. But that's about it. I don't have a gun. Um, yeah, that's it. I might have to book it. 
Oh god, why do you have a gun? I'm stuck. I'm stuck in these rocks. Okay, we need to use some med kits. I don't want to die at this point. They usually just kind of like charge forward and then they're stuck for a bit. And these, these guys, you can use their bullet fire to actually hurt a bunch of different guys. So there's two of these guys. This is this is a problem. Um, actually, I think I'm faring pretty well at this point. Ouch. Um, excuse me, he just charged through a rock. Well, that was a, that was a problem. Okay. Where's, where's my crit? Okay, that's one dead. You can, you can get a couple hits in while they're, while they're charging. Some, some good money. Um, yeah, okay. Ouch. Oh! Okay. Oh. oh, I thought you were dead. What the heck? You you had like no health left. Okay, I I'm going to call it there cuz I don't I don't want to do that whole level again, especially when I got lost. Um I don't know what happened on that last one. I the guy had like no health left, so I'm a little bit confused as to why he didn't die, but um outside of that, it's an interesting game. I'm I am I am interested in it. It's an interesting take on the roguelite format. I haven't seen a, a bazillion times before. Um and I do like the style and execution of it. Um you might like to see a couple of other things going on. Right now it's just like very limited kind of like inventory or uh weapon management and a little bit of endurance um, management but like yeah there's 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 some interest there's a, there's good stuff here and i wouldn't mind seeing the full game like see if if they develop things a little bit but uh uh anyway what what is this game called this game is called empty shell um and this is the prologue so you know demo um uh if you enjoyed this at all um definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll, I'll see you guys next time take it easy Thank you.